both players undefeated currently. You mentioned Zan sitting in first place. Some nice tools in the main deck for Jim in this matchup. He does have a couple Supreme Verdict in tow. Though this main deck negate not going to be catching anything. To search for his content in Jim's deck, a lot of people saying this card is actually just better than Jace the Mind Sculptor in Modern. Search has been very impressive since it started being adopted. So Jim starting off here, Hollowed Fountain. So yeah, looking on Jim's list, you mentioned two copies of Jace. Still has the one Sphinx's Revelation as well. Down to two Supreme Verdict. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> There's very. And we just got a glimpse of our first Jace the Mind Sculptor being scryed to the bottom. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what a card. Too good for modern, obviously. Zan starting Cavern of Souls into Noble Hierarch and a pass. Now, Zan has been on this deck long enough that Jim likely knows that what Zan's on. So between Aethervile and Cavern of Souls, I imagine that Jim will tr be trying to get rid of all his counter magic quickly. Yep. Yeah. Jim's hand looks pretty flush with blue cards. There is a lightning helix in the holdings. Yeah, blue cards aren't great here, though. He was looking for the red and white ones. Exactly. Helix in this matchup, when, when, you, when you face down Noble Hierarch, if you're light on removal, you kind of want to save that lightning helix for something better than this. If Xan just doesn't have a second land, you'll really regret not helixing the Hierarch. But in most games, you do kind of want to save it in this matchup. Search for Escanta, the turn two play for Jim Davis. And controlling the draws in a matchup where you want to draw very specific things, that being yeah. just removal spells every turn, the search will help in that. Kite Sail Freebooter for Zan Sayed, going to get to take some card out of Jim's hand. Now, likely going to take the Lightning Helix, because otherwise it'll get pointed at the Freebooter. But we see the other cards. It's a third land, a second search, a Sphinx's Revelation, and a Cryptic Command. And you were saying that Jim likely informed on the matchup. This hand, not great in the matchup. Everything is very expensive. Cryptic Command down the line can buy some time, but all of this is bad against Thalia, Guardian of Thraven. You really want to have Lightning Bolt. You can't really mulligan it specifically that. He had a little bit of interaction. He had the Serum Visions try to control his draw, but he has a lot going on that's really slow. Yeah. See, now Xan's on him to make pressure. Cavern of Souls again into Thraven Inspector. Figure that Cryptic Command in Jim's hand is going to Maybe a tap draw, something like that. Yeah. Unlikely that he'll get to counter anything. Yeah. I guess you can always counter a Aether Vial. That's... <laughs> Who cares? Right. Logic not. Put in the graveyard. Yep. Surprise. Jim knows he has Jace on the bottom of his library. Has picked up a Scalding Tarn. Doesn't really want to shuffle that one back in. He does want to find Supreme Verdict. And if the Scalding Tarn is going to be a second white mana, you do want to shuffle the Scalding Tarn for a tapped duel on this turn. Second search for Ascanta. Jim just plays it straight into the graveyard. He's really trying to get that flip. Mm. Second search isn't doing anything. Yeah. It's, it's telling in a matchup where that's your play, though. Hey, he's not really feeling like he's going to have time to transform the first and then cast the second. Sam yeah. knows the hand. He knows nothing's going on. Jim's needing the top deck from here. He's also playing that Scalding Tarn that he picked up, so Zan just still knows the hand. Looks like, though, this is four cards in the yard. Scalding Tarn is five. Searcher's Canta can flip a sixth. I still think Jim's an another turn away from flipping. Mm -hmm. Second Noble Hierarch for Zan. He does have to be careful about playing into Supreme Verdict as much as he can. And Thalia's Lieutenant, so who cares? Maybe Supreme Verdict doesn't matter here. So there's always the question of what is Zan even doing if Jim has Supreme Verdict? Jim's getting back the Lightning Helix off the Freebooter. Zan just really needs to reset. Yeah. This means the best attack is just going to be everything, no, no Exalted. Yep. And a swing with three creatures. Looks like it will be five damage. Jim down to ten and then down to nine. Fetches for Hollowed Fountain, that second white source. It's going to have two looks for a Supreme Verdict here.
first card. Logic not again. No, easy choice. Still don't want that one. Negate. Ugh. This is somehow even worse. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that's not going to do anything. Now, remember, he has those cryptic commands, so we can cryptic tap draw things like to, to not die. Yep. And then that will flip his search, which is fine. And this is kind of a common thing when I watch a Jeskai deck in modern. Jim's drawn Supreme uh, Sphinx's Revelation. It would look better as a second cryptic command. And he is only playing yeah. three cryptics. Yeah, he actually has the room for the next one. Mm -hmm. Or as a Jace the Mind Sculptor. Actually, probably bad as that right now. Yeah. The, <laughs> That's not, not very good here. There's a reason he scribed that one to the bottom. Yeah, fair. But Jace is so good. How do, you, how do you ever lose if you cast a four-mana Brainstorm in a format flush with creatures that attack? At this point, Zan does want to consider how much he wants to extend into Supreme Verdict. He knows that Cryptic Command's available. He's not connecting for any damage on this turn, most likely. 3 He's too shy of lethal if you were to connect with the entire team right now. Zan floating two mana in response to the cryptic, so we can crack that clue. And he goes to attack. Yeah, Jim tapping and drawing. Zan, a bit heavy on lands here. He may not have anything other than to pass back. Jim picked up Serum Visions off that tap draw. In Innovation and Humans lately, players have been playing Kessig Malcontent. Zan's yeah. actually off of that. He had that last time we covered an event here. You see he makes Reflector Mage. Um, and what Zan's doing is he's committing more to the board to make sure that he survives even through a spot removal spell. The next attack is lethal. Mm -hmm. Zan does have a nice upgrade, though. He's playing two copies of Pia and Kieran yeah. Nalar. That's a really good way to reset up if Jim does find the Supreme Verdict. So he hasn't yet. He found Snapcaster Mage. He only has five lands right now, so he can't snap the Cryptic. But he has a Serum Visions and Snapcaster. He's trying to figure out if he can survive a turn, maybe. Yeah, the blocker is a little bit for him. Yeah, it looks like he'll start with Serum Visions. <laughs> Finds Jace. Ugh. Well, is there, way, is there a world where he can cast Jace, unsummon something to not die? If he draws a land next turn, he can snap a cryptic. Yeah. yeah. The Jace theoretically can buy him a turn in the same way that the Snapcaster Mage would. Well, let's count. I don't. No, it doesn't buy him a turn because there's nothing he can get rid of that. I don't think it buys him a turn, Ryan. Unfortunately. And so he'll cast Serum Visions, Snapcaster Serum Visions. Finds Path to Exile. I mean, this was the best, this is the best setup. Go back over Jim. So he has that path to exile up, and he has a chump blocker. So not dead as it stands. Kite sail freebooter for Zan. That should get the path to exile out of Jim's hand. Yeah, one way or not, the other. Yeah, I mean, I think he has to cast it here. Right. You, you know, you block the Thalia's lieutenant, because it's going to be a 3-3. And Zan is still looking at... Some damage. Here's the path. We'll see. We'll we'll see what happens. It's going to path away. Revelation is what, unless he paths away that freebooter, Sphinx's Revelation is going to get nabbed by the new freebooter. But he'll do that anyway. Here's. Thalia's Lieutenant is exiled. That's the most power. Yep. The cards in his hand are really bad. Got to figure if you take the other Freebooter, this one's going to take your Lightning Helix. Yeah, I mean, there's no way Zan's taking the gate. Yeah. Can't take Jace, right? It's instant or sorcery? Or is it non-creature? It's, it's non-creature, non-land. Ooh, so now there's a decision on Zan's side. Both of these cards look pretty beatable. Yeah. Revelation to me feels more beatable right now. 
they're both like if Jace, I guess, brainstorms and finds you a pair, like a fetch land and two path to exiles, and you put back the other two cards, crack the fetch, double path, you might yeah. win. You the, know, the Jace is more. It has more potential to actually be relevant here. I think so. Yeah, gaining three life off the revelation is pretty uh, trivial against this much power. Yeah, Zan's gonna take the Jace. I like that. Now at this point, Jim's just tasked to top deck supreme verdict. Yep. Yeah, pretty much been the plan he's been on the whole game, yeah. but he becomes a little more pressing every turn. So Zan didn't get a land this turn. He only has one basic, and yeah, it's in his hand. All right. Yeah. Whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I was just kind of curious. Like, oh, he didn't get one. I yeah. guess they play one. Right. Yeah, they've been on the one planes kind of as long as the deck's been around. You need one so that your opponent can't free roll path your turn one hierarch, but I guess after turn one, the extra land doesn't do anything. Yep. It is funny that the land is basic planes in the Noble Hierarch deck, and it's, it's because of that. Why is it planes? I guess there are more white creatures than green creatures. Yep. The Hierarch also just turns into a white source. If, you play, if they're pathing your turn one Hierarch, it means you already have green. Yep. And Snapcaster will trade with the Noble Hierarch, so we're going to count some damage across. And Jim down to two. With Zan's hand, it looks like it's another Noble Hierarch with that basic plane, so it's kind of just... Killing no with verdict. what he has on the battlefield. Yeah. No. Please, no verdict. There's two outs. Jim has one. Could have redraws with serum visions. Yep. Can buy a turn with cryptic command. Yep. I think that might be it. Can you do it? Here's a card. It is serum visions. All right. All right. We're 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 drawn live to cryptic supreme verdict. There's two of each left. Can you do it? Lightning helix. I don't think that's enough. Top cards, hit Supreme Verdict, okay. The Lightning okay. Helix is pretty good because he Can gets... Can he Helix Helix? Yeah, he has white, red, white, red. Wait, if that's... Jim's going to do this. If he can Helix into Helix, and I, and I think you're right, he can. Ryan, I think Jim might have done a stage of the comeback. Yeah, things are looking quite a lot better. He says go. He hit, okay. Let's do this. Jim Davis stabilizing it too, maybe. Who knows? Is there anything Zan could have that blows out this Lightning Helix? Yeah, I guess nothing's instant speed. Nope. If he draws three, uh, Thalia's Lieutenant, it's a lot of extra damage. I'd have to count to see if that's enough. Mm -hmm. then you got to remember that if Jim... Jim might not even have yeah. to cast the second Lightning Helix. If Zan draws Thalia's Lieutenant, it's enough. Here's Meddling Mage. Okay, well, Jim's going to do something in response to that, I, I think. Well, maybe not. Oh, wait. Oh, gosh. This is... It, it, it's like a little... It would be surprising if Xan named Lightning Helix here. Well, you think he named Cryptic? But if it resolves, he's not naming Cryptic. Right? Because if Jim has a Cryptic, wouldn't right now Jim say, tap, draw, Mage resolves? Or maybe... Then Mage would name Supreme Verdict. This is really interesting. Yeah, this is a really tough meddling Mage to name, and it... it Jim doesn't really need to get that. He already has Supreme Verdict, right? So it's on top, yeah. It, it, it makes sense to just Helix the Freebooter now, even even if you don't think Xan's going to name it, just because there's that small yeah. chance and you, you're going to be but really well set up that, anyway. But that Xan can name Supreme Verdict. So yep. He gets back the Helix, goes to five. I bet he heals. So he's just, he's got to use the Helix. Or what if he keeps it in hand? How greedy would that be? He has to be dead. Okay, can't do that. He loses <laughs> again. I, I want the Jace back. I'm going to name Freebooter. Shoot Freebooter. Yeah, also the thing about getting that Jace back is... You might name you it. Might, yeah, you might yeah. get Zan to name it. And then that's what will do. Jim up to eight. If Zan's play there had been Thalia's lieutenant, he'd have exactly eight power in play. He didn't draw it, but there was... That would have been the draw. Mm -hmm. Now what do you name Zan? The top card. Zan knows that Jim scried a card to the top off Serum Visions. There's not a lot of stuff that that could right. be. Right, so I think it's, it's very reasonable to name Supreme Verdict. Really tempting for that name. Santa, what, Jim, what did you leave on top? His materials, Big decision, yeah. His, his materials have dwindled a good amount. It's kind of tempting to name Snapcaster Mage, too. There's a couple options. The Supreme Verdict, as we know, is the play. But there are arguments in a few different directions. Zan will be connecting for five this turn.
In a spot like this, the whole game does kind of hinge on this meddling mage. You want to make sure that you consider every possible line. Here's a swing. We're going to figure out what he named. As he named Snapcaster Mage, Ryan. That's not the, that's not the card we were looking for. Mm -hmm. I understand why he did it. Okay, go tell me. Uh, Snapcaster Mage Lightning Helix actually just covers two of these creatures. Okay. Uh, given that Jim had that big Lightning Helix turn this turn, that would be a card that's reasonable to keep on top. And <laughs> yeah. It, it, you don't have to go for perfects if you find something that's fine, but Jim did have the verdict. Mantis Rider, can you do it? Can you do it? Down to three. Ooh. Pe <laughs> okay. Now, of note, let's look at Zan's lands. <laughs> he can't make red. Not for the activation. Yeah. So right now he can't throw Thopters. It is three bodies, which is certainly very good. But Jim has more outs against this because Zan won't be able to activate the PN, Kieran. Jim picked up a Scalding Tarn. Don't really want to activate that. We're going to make sure those are Thopter Foundry Thopters. We're going to get the colorless ones. There we go. Yeah, so Jim has Negate. Well, that stinks. But he has Jace Fetchland, so hey, Negate, Negate can go away if Jim can survive. He has Sphinx's Revelation. So Revelation would gain three right now. In theory, he could crack a Fetchland, go to two, Rev for three, and go to one if Xan has no more damage. I don't like it, but it's, it's a, right? That's, it's there. Yep. It's there. Um, might be his best play. Does Jace win, or Jace just if, if the uh, Revelation gets you through this turn, it's tempting to do that, and then Jace next turn, because you'll get the most possible looks that way. You can't Jace this turn, and then Revelation next turn. So now he's Jacing, and if he's casting Jace, he's going to brainstorm, and he needs to hit something or lose. Yeah, you can't unsummon any of this in a meaningful way. Yeah. You can unsummon the PN Kirin, but that is very dicey. I'm going to continue to consider all of his options. And here's Jace. Brainstorm. I, all right. I got my free space. Hey, Jace resolved. Ooh. Electrolyzed Jace Fetchland. I think Jim bricked. And he went, for the, he went for the Brainstorm and lost. Hey, I think you have another square on that. Ooh. Now, Ryan, he didn't lose the turn after resolving Jace. He lost the turn he resolved Jace. Boo. In the spirit of that I will, square. In that spirit, I will, we will allow it. I think that's in the spirit of the that square. That is OK. <laughs> <laughs> the Jace didn't do anything square. Right. Jace came down, and the game was over immediately. Game one goes to Zan. So Jim had some options there. You looked at his top. He could have gone to one and gotten those top three. And we did look at the top three. I don't know if it matters. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing about that is you still have the option to cast a Jace the next turn and then brainstorm, you'll get even more looks. Yeah, yeah, the elect it's possible if he'd gone to one, he could, he had some play. Yeah. But who knows, Zan Sayed on humans takes game one in what is generally a tough matchup for humans. Yes. Even despite. So we're gonna look at some sideboards, gonna get some post sideboard games when we come back, it'll be game two of Davis versus Sayed.
All right, back here, Jim Davis and Zan Sayed going over to the sideboards. Zan gets the first game. And I remember when we saw this around the was it last time we covered an open, it was pretty tough. We saw humans lose this matchup a lot. Yeah. Um, let's look at the sideboard over Zan. Two Direfleet Daredevil. Hey, I could see it in this matchup. Two Dismember, two Gaddock Teague, two Graft Digger's Cage, two Hostage Taker, two is a Staticaster, two Zathrid Necromancer, and a one of Oriok Champion. Zathrid so. Necromancer and Gaddock Teague do a really nice job yeah. of covering Supreme Verdict. Supreme Verdict, Cryptic, and Jace. Mm -hmm. well, maybe not Cryptic, nothing covers Cryptic. <laughs> Oriak Champion, because of Path to Exile and the Sweepers, you don't love it in this matchup. It's a lot better against Grixis and Jund. Yeah, my thought with the card is like it might be hard to kill, and I like that, but I don't care about the life gain, and I don't really like a 1-1 for 2. Yep. Yeah, but the Daredevils, they are interesting. One thing to remember is that Exile is the card no matter what. Okay. So, so you're messing with Snapcaster Mage every time you cast this. So it's like a 1 of Scavenging Ooze activation? But if you grab a Lightning Bolt, that's really good. I'm actually just kind of curious about this card being in Zan's deck at all. He has so many lands. It's like Unclaimed Territory, Ancient Ziggurat, Cavern of Souls. Uh, Daredevil has that weird thing that they do with cards oh, now. Yeah, yeah. Where you can always cast it if you have mana. Okay. I like it more now. <laughs> I don't think you can still... You still can't do it with Ziggurat, but you just use your Ziggurat to cast Daredevil. Yeah, you can do it with your other lands, though, so it's probably fine. Yeah. I think I'd board it in, right? Yeah, yeah it, it seems pretty reasonable. All right, well, they're going to get ready for game two. Jim's got some stuff. I think the big win is probably... Is it Staticaster? Yeah. It's got to be. And it explosives and Anger of the Gods also quite good. Oh, yeah. There's a lot going on here I like. Mm -hmm. Jim on the play. Let's start out game number two. He was very close to stabilizing that last time. And, you know, when you think about all those logic knots he had to bin <laughs> and that negate he drew, you yeah. turn those into real cards, and I can see why Jim is favored here. Mm -hmm. Though that is how humans is able to win game ones in matchups like this. Yeah. You, you turn some of their cards just into blanks. Absolutely. Serum Vision's turn one for Jim. You got to assume most of those blue cards are out of the deck now. Just There's too much Cavern of Souls and Aether Vial running around. Yeah. Oh, Jim's on all snow-covered basics today. Wow. Fancy. <laughs> I always liked in Ice Age that mountain that's covered in snow but is not the snow-covered mountain. So snow Mountain's covered in snow, and one of like the, the three other mountains is also covered in snow. I strongly dislike that mountain. And like, no, this one's not snow-covered. It's like, there's snow on it. It's like, yeah. It's a mountain. The art is somehow both very busy and very boring, and that juxtaposition hurts my brain. Turn one, Zan, Aether Vial off Horizon Canopy. Hey, Ryan, you had some bingo squares there, right? That last one? There were five or more creatures attacking for Zan. Okay, you got that. I got a Jace Brainstorm, and Jim losing the game with Jace. Search for Ascanta for Jim Davis. I have some, too. We'll get back to that in a sec. Aether Vial for Zan. You're getting a squares in the Jace game? I got card transforms. Oh, that's out of control. Yeah. Another Aether Vial for Xan. He's got a third in his hand. That's a little too much. But he also has no more lands, so okay, maybe he'll use them all. You have a square that says card transforms, and I have a square that says Escanta the Sunken Ruin finds Jace. <laughs> that is you know, unreasonable. You know, it's hard for you to get that square without me getting mine. Yeah, well, some would say it's impossible. Well, if we cut to a game where the Ascanta had already flipped, if the backup feature had one, <laughs> you could, you're could you live that way. Sure. The theoretically, these things could happen. That's all I got. I'm trying to... Look, I'm just saying there's a line. This is so out of control. I'm going to have a stern talking to with Nick Miller. Mm. Should have picked the Bloodbraid bingo card. I tried to. As yep, a matter I already of fact, had it. I already had it. Yeah. I responded to Nick it was less than 10 minutes after he contacted us, and you had already shotgunned it. Bloodbraid Elf. I like Red Green. You, don't, you play Grixis. You don't get to have Bloodbraid Elf. You get to lose to Bloodbraid Elf. That's your destiny. Ugh. I played Bloodbraid Elf, John, when it was your, in standard. Your destiny is to just lose to the card. I top aided an extended PTQ with Bloodbraid Elf. You cascaded into Elvish Visionary. I was there. That's that, horrible. That wasn't in standard, not extended in my defense. I also thought, I remember typing the same event. It's like I still didn't know who you were. And I was like, yeah, some guy was taught, like, I, both were playing Cascade Jund. I was playing, you know, good cards like Putrid Leech. And I was like, I think one of the guys who top eight cut all their Putrid Leeches for Elvish Visionaries. And I said it in this way where I was like, still kind of young and was like, yeah, that person's an idiot. And then, and then you were like, yeah, I did that. I felt so smart. And then that's when I decided you were terrible at magic. That card was so good in the mirror. 
Because you didn't cascade in the stupid, dumb putrid leech, which was terrible all the time. There was four, four for two. That's a nice card. That is a disingenuous evaluation. There are matchups where it's a four, four for two. All right, Zan is not drawing any more lands, so that's a negative. But on the flip side, he's got a lot of Aether Vial going on. Yeah. And a champion of the Parish. So it's, he's playing Magic, but it's going to be a very interesting <laughs> way to see it happen. If he wants to, Zan can cast the Serum Visions with that Dire Fleet Daredevil. He can do that. He, he's got a, so his two mana plays, he has Gaddock Teague, Dire Fleet Daredevil, Thalia, and Kite Sail Freebooter. But he also has another Aether Vial in his hand, which normally the third one's completely dead, but I could see it here. Unless, I guess, Jim finds e Engineer Explosives on one, and then the game's just comically over. That would be a disaster. Um, Having it in the, hand doesn't do a ton at that point either, though. Yeah, I mean, I guess you can't play around EE for one. It's just going to beat you, and that's how it goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, resetting up with one vial takes a lot of time. Freebooter is what Xan picks, and that'll pump Champion of the Parish. Mm -hmm. And he's doing this on his own main phase just yeah. because it makes the Champion of the Parish a little bit bigger. Going to get a look at what Jim's up to. He's got Bolt, Path, Land... And we'll see. He wants to respond. The Bolton Path are what I'm looking at. Looks like he's going to Lightning Bolt the Freebooter, actually. Yeah, because the Freebooter is a new card and not Mesmeric Fiend, Zan will get to look at the hand but okay. not take anything. He does still get to see the hand? Yep. That's important. So, Snapcaster Mage, Island, Field of Ruin, Path to Exile. Technically Snow-Covered Island. Right. That's the same thing. If Jim wants to cast the path this turn, he could flip Oscanta. I can't imagine he's going to do that. No way I want to give Xana land here. He gets two vials. It's not the worst thing. Swings for two. We'll see actually if Jim does it. Now he takes the damage. If you're Zan, you want to play another vial? I kind of do. Xan's down to 17. Yeah, he's in. So much Aether. So many vials. He's just... A chemist over here. And Ugh. Jim draws the EE. -E. Oh, God. Uh, that one. <laughs> Remember I said you can't beat it, and you're like, well, Jim would have to draw it. It's like, sure that does. That was left on Ooh. top. Ooh, everything's dead. Okay. So, uh, that, okay. Would, uh, <laughs> that would explain why you didn't path the champion. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> um, oh, we have a Gaddock Teague in our hand. Oh, wow. That. You ever notice how arc. engineered explosives has an X in its converted uh, mana cost? He would have bolted it and then done yeah. it anyway. But correct. Um, yeah, that's doesn't feel good. Oh, and I'm gonna flip Ascanta. Mm. Ooh, how many E's does Jim play? Please tell me it's one. Why, is it one out of the board? Why would you play more than one? One out of the board. Okay, because because the second one here is no good. He's already yeah. he's already one. That'd so be too don't... much. Flips his enchantment. Down, activate it, and find a Jace the Mind Sculptor, please. You know what? Sure. <laughs> Go ahead. Whatever. Gosh, if Jace bounces his your own creature, your squares are so bad. Bouncing your own Snapcaster Mage makes okay, sense. Okay, you have Jace bounces opponents and Jace bounces self. Okay, yeah. okay, you have one of each. Yeah. I thought you just had bounces your own, and I was like, that's so dumb. Why even make the Jace squares hard? You know? I mean, I have Bloodbraid Cascades into a spell with Cascade, which, okay, so what, we have to be having Living End on camera? That's about it. And I don't even think they play that. No. I don't know what deck does this. Yeah, Bloodbraid Elf is just not a creature that cycles, so it probably would not make its way into Living End. Like, like we're not playing Legacy. There's no, there's no Shardless Agent. I don't even know how to check off that square. Ardent Plea? I don't know what deck you're playing. There's a fun little play here. Jim goes for the Field of Ruin and the Horizon Canopy so that Xan can't use the Canopy as a redraw later. Okay. This is just like playing with your food. It leaves up mana for Ascanta. This game will go on for as long as Xan wants to keep playing it. <laughs> At some point, though, players should get concerned about time. Less than yeah. 20 minutes in the round. Zim Jim has Elspeth's, Elspeth's Sun's Champion in his hand. He actually only has single white in play, so can't cast it just yet, but... That's going to be strong at some point here. Mm -hmm. And he'll path the noble. Oh. oh, the island, the plains is already in play. Yeah. Ooh. That's nice. It says go. It does mean he can't use Ascanta this turn. Champion of the Parish from Zan. That's an acceptable loss because Zan can't do anything of any meaningful is impact. Is going to snap path it? Oh, he's thinking about it. Doesn't have white mana for that. He has bolt. Snap bolt it. That's Same right. thing. <laughs> Everything's dead. Back to Jim. 
board clear, opponent on one land, Ascanta online, bolt in hand, Elspeth in hand. I'm liking this. Active search for Ascanta. Yeah, this is good. He's not searching for Ascanta, he's found the Sunken Ruin. That's it's true. there. Cavern of Souls from Xan. Gaddock Teague, maybe? Meddling Mage? We'll see. Either, both, whatever. Thalia. Zan's dead. Dead to, what, what, you mean dead to bolt is what he's going to cast? Yeah. <laughs> Some creature. Whatever, it's, it's going to get bolted. Less than four toughness. Doesn't have hex proof. Unless Zan just cold names Lightning Bolt here. Yeah, then Jim would have to draw one of the other 400 removal spells in his deck by activating he his would. Kanta That's or drawing point. it off the top. Maybe that won't work. You probably main Snapcaster Mage in spots like this. The issue with that, though, is that Ascanta can't even find that one, so I Jim's looking for different cards anyway. I'm going to be named Jace. <laughs> Activates Ascanta. Named Path to Exile. Sure. That way you cover Jim finding a path or trying to snap the path, the path being Ooh, the only removal Jim spell left. Jim will find Cryptic Command or Supreme Verdict. Which would he like? How about, oh, we'll go for Cryptic. They both seem great. <laughs> See, you don't want to verdict away your own Snapcaster Mage. I understand that. He, he doesn't even bolt the mage. He's like, yeah, you named Path. I don't have one of those. Yeah. You can have it. Jim doesn't need to cross the finish line with a Snapcaster Mage. If Sand wants to block, that's fine. It's another removal spell. Jim, I drew another Lightning Bolt. That Meddling Mage could be doing so much right now, Ryan. Yup. Only <laughs> If only Xana named the other removal spell, he'd be still not in it. Yeah, there's a few different ways for Zan to not really be competing in this game. All right, now that Jim's done a second bolt, he'll bolt away the mage. Fair enough. Thalia from Zan. Ooh, I wouldn't even bolt it, because that means you don't get to activate Ascanta, and I'm pretty into activating Ascanta. Yeah, save that one for later. Another, ooh, another lightning bolt, or a... Blessed Alliance? Blessed Alliance. Yeah, I'll take a bolt. Sure. Draws. A path. There we go. <laughs> Zan, Zan doesn't want to do this anymore. Says, okay, you have another bolt. I'm good. I'm good. 16 minutes. Let's go to game three. Well, that was right when things were getting interesting. Can be a tough matchup post board for Zan. He actually had a lot of game going on there. I mean, he, he was never. We mentioned before, he's like, no, bu no sense playing around it. He was never going to beat it. Yep. And then he sure didn't. Nope. All right, we're going to have a third game. Zan Sand versus Jim Davis. It's just stay at 5 0. Zan is going to try to. S Keep himself in first place. We'll have that right when we come back. All right. So, Ryan, did you saw Jim take the second game on the back of some sideboard cards? Well, I want to take a look at what he does have on the sideboard. Okay, we know the engineered explosives there is in. <laughs> yep. Got that one. Very like the Anger of the Gods and is it Static Caster. We saw the Blessed Alliance. Just anything that can work as a removal spell, you're going to see it here. Okay, so Anger of the Gods. Blessed Alliance, is it Staticaster? I don't think the Celestial Purge count, not, not enough. No, it, it's just really not going to hit too much here. If you know about and expect cyborgs that's written Necromancer, that's a reasonable hit, but it's just so narrow. Yeah, it hits that. It hits Dire Fleet Daredevil, which you didn't even see. It hits Peon Kiron Nalar. It hits Mantis Rider. Is that enough? It's Mantis Rider you're getting to the threshold. He also yeah. mostly just needs to get these logic knots and then the gate out of his deck. So it might be better than something else. That doesn't mean it's good, mm -hmm. but it's better. Gideon Ally as Endicar is also pretty good in the matchup. Yeah, I can see that. The the ally tokens just size really well against most of what Xan is doing. Right. Both players keeping on sixes for the third game. And I don't suppose Jim can go for ancestral visions. We're not he's got no time for such that, things. That is mighty slow. Zan on the play. Here we go. Game number three, turn one, Noble Hierarch for Sayed. You know, Noble Hierarch in this matchup, I'm not actually sure how much I like it on Zan's side. I'm not saying he should board it out, but it feels like Zan needs threats, and mm. Noble Hierarch's not a threat. Yeah, the deck's kind of configured in a way where you play enough games where you need the mana off of Noble Hierarch to even get off the ground. Yeah. So it's really tough to cut, though I will say Noble Hierarch is about my favorite creature to electrolyze. That's true. And Jim Lightning bolts it, which means it was a good creature for Zan. He picked Hyrek over Aether Vial. He'll make Aether Vial now and Champion of the Parish. It's this weird thing in humans with cards like Aether Vial and Noble Hyrek where they're mana sources, but Zan's deck's really low to the ground. So, like, they're good, but their window's very small. Back to Jim. He has Engineered Explosives in his hand again. 
Okay. Doesn't yet, not yet have the mana to set it up for one. You do kind of want to wait and see if Jim can get yeah. something else. Serum Visions, Jace, on Jim's hand. He'll cast Visions. I think find Sphinx's Revelation. Top cards are Electrolyzed Serum Visions. I like Electrolyze in this matchup a lot. Mm, maybe not Rev. Looks like it was actually a plane. It's my mistake there. And Jim's going to keep both. Yeah, just Electrolyze for next turn. Until yeah. there's a yeah. Thali on the battlefield, Serum Visions remains one of your better cards. It gets a lot worse if there's a Thalia. Champion swings just for one to put Jim to 17. Kaisel Freebooter's there for Zam, but he has no black mana just yet. He has Meddling Mage, not can't cast that one either. Nope, gotta wait to get this vial up to two. If Jim, if Zan just says go, how tempted are you of to on Jim's side to just crack that EE for one? I was already very tempted. Yeah. Even if he had a two drop, I might have made that play. Yeah, with Zan saying go, and yeah, Jim's just gonna immediately do it. EE for one. Pass. Is there a reason to not crack it right here? Zan uses Horizon Canopy. And Jim going to go ahead and crack Explosives now. It's, it's like all the same, right? Yep. OK. I'm trying to think of this. Oh, there's some techie reason to do that. And I couldn't come up with it. Zan down to 17 to make Thalia. But Jim's ahead on mana now. And that's. Yep. You might see Jace, but he's in the, like, this is, I think, what you're saying with Jace. If, when, by the time Jim's makes Jace, it's going to be a game he's already won. Uh-huh. I mean, Jace will win it really well. He won't be able to cast Jace until he has five mana. Right. So it's like this turn he electrolyzes, next turn he Jaces. But if that's how things are going, you know, Jace, like, feels win more. Kind of. When you're both just drawing one card, a lot of Jim's draws are worth exactly one of Zan's draws. Okay. If you draw a creature, I draw a path or a lightning bolt. We're kind of trading even, whereas Jace makes it really easy to close. Yeah, Jim takes two off the Thalia. Zan cracks Horizon Canopy, says go. Yeah, Jim's all about this now. Yes. If he can hit land five, I imagine Zan will scoop to the Jace. Well, he doesn't need to hit land five anymore if he casts his Electrolyze. Then oh, he can yeah, just Jace. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. It's just, it's already there. Yep. Then the Jace should do a good job of sealing things up. Probably won't really see any of my squares get checked because the game is just going to be over and Zan might you concede. Might, you might get Jace Fate Seal's opponent. Well, the question is how, how long, fast does Zan concede? Exactly. How long does he want to sit around for this? You know, there's less than 10 minutes in the round. Yeah. Maybe he wants to go grab a snack before round six. That's, that's more exciting than playing against Jace. All right. All right, Jim, show us the Mind Sculptor. It's definitely the play here. Uh, don't come on! Don't don't slow roll him. Just yeah, you might want to see your visions first. Oh, don't do it! Just just play it! Just play it! Just <laughs> there we go. Jace, the mind sculptors, and you want to keep playing. This is one of those spots where Jim can just activate any ability on Jace, and it won't matter. Brainstorm! All right. They're all just good. Anger the gods, lightning bolts. So now he has helix bolt, snapcaster, anger, search. I don't know, five more bolts, three more cards, yeah. it's whatever. He's chasing, and just all of his cards are good. Sphinx's Revelation, he doesn't even need that, but he'll keep them all on top because everything's good right now. <laughs> you Back can to Zan. Use Jace Serum Visions to, like, scry something away. <laughs> Vial, go. Jim not even doing that. Zan is far more patient than I am. Here's Jace, three more cards. Great. Come on, more Jim. More removal. Plus two on somebody. <laughs> he just wants to make land drops. He just doesn't. Land. He just doesn't have to. He's putting back search for Ascanta. It would flip this turn. Ah, how rude! <laughs> to make field of ruin. Does Jim have colonnades today? He's got two, right? Uh, just three. Yeah, yeah. He trimmed one. Sand says go. All right. Rev for three, maybe. Can't really justify moving off of that card. Jim up to fifteen. Rev for three. Do, 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 draws more things. Jace will draw more things. Maybe, maybe he'll use the Fate Seal. When Jim's hand becomes seven removal spells, he's going to have to start plus twoing, or he'll just have to discard. He just keeps using Brainstorm. Do we just get the Lightning Bolt Zan to death, I suppose? This is the Shaheen Sarani school of thought with Jace. He kind of just plays. Have you ever watched Shaheen when he plays this card? He says there's only one ability on it. <laughs> it's 
it's a little simplistic, but it's not that wrong. Right. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with the notion. I think Jim, Jim is playing like, it correctly. I wanted the plus two because I'm literally never going to get another chance to check any yeah. of these bingo squares. Yeah, I mean, like, I may want to face seal my opponent, but you're right. More cards is probably just always correct. Yeah. Especially if you're just going for a critical mass of burn. Ooh. Uh, Snapcaster Electrolyze? Ooh, Snapcaster Range. Oh, targeting Electrolyze. Yeah. Yeah, you show him, Zan. Yeah, get Daredeviled. Get, yeah, you take care of that. He targets Zan with it. That's fine. Or, or don't. Oh, Daphne Daredevil gonna cast a Lightning Bolt at Jace. Yeah, take that. Jim, if you only had Fate Sealed, you wouldn't have lost your Planeswalker. Yeah. What a noob. Pretty loose. How will Jim recover? Well, stay tuned. He's in a lot of trouble now. He only has a seven-card hand and an active S to the sunken and room. Let's see. Let's survey the hand see how bad it is for Jim. Bolt, Bolt, Helix, Helix, Serum Visions. Well, it looks like he has the next four creatures covered as he swings in for two. And he's got an active S Kanta. Oh, Path, Path. Sorry, his next six creatures covered. Just shocking for his land because it doesn't matter. Not casting Serum Visions because he doesn't actually need any cards. <laughs> he has them all already. Going to be activating his Kanta every turn. Right, right. That makes sense. Gaddock Teague on draw for Xan. Still no lands. He can make one creature a turn. Jim's going to be pretty good at killing one creature a turn, however. Ha. Huh. He's able to make two on this turn. Top four off as Kanta. A miss. Ooh. Jim's in trouble now. That one might cost him. Lightning Helix at Xan. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like, man, I don't even need to kill your creatures anymore. Hold on, hold on. Xan, you're going to put something into play. It's Kite Sail Freebooter. Jim bolts it with the trigger on the stack. Sees the hand. It's Field of Ruin, Path, Serum Visions, Helix. Jim's speeding up. He knows that time is running out, but he should be fine as he draws another Snapcaster Mage. Cast Serum Visions. Draw something, top card, Colonnade, Snapcaster. He wants them both. Put Snapcaster on top, then Colonnade. Sure. Cryptic was picked up the turn. Makes Field of Ruin. The only way that Jim's getting out of this yeah. match without a win is with the draw. Yeah, Helix is away. The blocker goes up to 19. Yeah, Jim's life total doesn't matter, but Xan takes a hit. He's down to 8 from the Snapcaster Mage. Jim's going to leave up that Cryptic. Passes. It's Path, Snap, Cryptic in hand. A lot of good stuff. Zan says go. He leaves up the Aether Vial. Snapcaster Mage again from Jim. Snap, probably just a bolt. Snap bolt and he can activate as Kanta maybe. Snap Electrolyze. A lot of things to like here. It's all good. Yep, snap bolt is going to is what he's leaning toward. All right, let's do it. He targets lightning bolts. Now Zan's going to put Dire Fleet Daredevil into play. Nah, he's going to lightning bolt. Okay. That's fine. And he bolts Jim Snapcaster. Take that. Jim activates as Kanta. Top four. Is it another miss? Oh, it is. Oh, goodness. Two misses in a row. Jim's just, just letting this one go as he draws Lightning Helix, kills the blocker, attacks for two more. Zan's down to six. I think he's going to make it, Ryan. It's close, though. No, he passed the blocker. He kept the Helix because that's burn. Yep. Also, Zan's basic land's already in play. Yep, that's pretty good. Zan says go. Jim, another Azkanta activation is Electrolyze, Supreme Verdict, Supreme Verdict. He'll take the burn spell. It's like a time walk. And Zan going <laughs> to This is so good. After... Actually, Zan can't, can't vile here. The problem is Jim's going to hold on to priority and Electrolyze. Zan could have, like... He can't actually Meddling Mage the Electrolyze. There's no chance. Mm -hmm. Zan goes to four. Now he's going to put something into play. It looks like it's Kite Sail Freebooter. Jim just says, I have another burn spell, whatever. Lightning oh, Helix, yeah. you... Zan's down to one. Now is the freebooter. Now we'll remove the blocker. Sure. Whatever. Jim has a cryptic. He says, I can snap the crypt. Sna snap attacks for two. He can bounce Snapcaster with cryptic, recast Snapcaster, and bolt Zan. Whatever. Two minutes. Jim's found it. He's got a way to win. Zan will make champion of the Paris. Jim activates Oscanta. Zan's going to put a thing into play. Looks like it's going to be. Gaddick Teague. Jim could... Uh, you can just cryptic bounce snap. So yeah. in response to the vial activation, doesn't want Gaddick Teague showing up. So Jim's going to, in response, cryptic bounce snap 
I think if he's got a bolt in graveyard, that just works, right? Kiptrick bounce snap. He's been through those. The Daredevil got him, didn't didn't it? Okay. So he doesn't have enough mana to bolt right now, and he has to pay some respect for Middling Mage. So All you right. get the Cryptic bounce out of your draw. hand. Gaddick Teague in play. Now and Jim activates. Now the stat that was Kanta was trigger was still in the stack the whole time. Another burn spell? Nope. There's a path. And there you go. G Jim found a way. We didn't we didn't know if he could. No. There was just in control with Jim Davis. 2-0.